In this video, I'll show you how to create dynamic captions you often see in TikToks, Reels, or YouTube Shorts videos. Did you think Camtasia didn't have a way to outline text with a different color? Well, it does. Let's get into it. I'm starting from the beginning so you can see the entire process of how I create a YouTube Short or an Instagram Reel or TikTok video. So all I've done so far is I have recorded a video of myself uh, on my phone and I imported that into Camtasia and that's right here in the media bin. So let's go ahead and drag that down to the timeline like this. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna do is adjust the coloring. So let's go up to visual effects, drag down color adjustment to fix our coloring here. Let's reset these all to zero to get it back to the way it normally starts. And now I'm gonna add my effects and I've written them down here because I usually do the same things. Minus six on the brightness, plus five on the contrast and plus 24 on the saturation. That looks a lot better in my opinion. And you can check to see what the difference is by toggling this on and off right here. So that's what I started with. And that's the revised uh, color corrected version. Okay, so now I want to trim the beginning and the end. So let's go ahead with the playhead and see what we've got here. Hey guys, this is Rob and this is a sample YouTube short video. Check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim off the ends. And we're going to trim it back to here. So it starts as soon as the speaking starts. Hey guys, this is Rob. Perfect. Okay, next we want to add the text. So let's go up to annotations. And right here, drag any text annotation you can see. Uh, doesn't matter which one. And put it. let's put it right in the middle here. And we'll line this back up with our, with our video. And let's give ourselves a little bit of room. I'm going to hold control and click and drag this out. And uh, we won't go to the very end just in case I have some long text. Let's just go to around there. Okay, and let's also do the same thing with the height. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, now let's double click the text. I'm gonna change the text over here in the properties. I'm gonna change it to a font that I like, a nice bold font, Delhi is the one I like. And then let's increase the size to something, something around there, it looks good. And then let's go ahead and change the color. So I'm gonna make this, let's just make it red for now. Okay, so there we go, there's our text. You can't really see it very well because of what's in the background, my face is in the background there. So what we wanna do now is we wanna add an outline to that. And here's where I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. There's actually two ways you can do this. Um, a harder way, uh, but I'm gonna go through the harder way first just to show you the steps because you, it may generate some ideas that you can use in other projects. Then I'll show you the super easy way. Okay, so first of all, for the hard way, um, so there's no option here to add an outline to the text. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. With the text highlighted, let's come over to visual effects and look for the drop shadow. It's right here. Drag the drop shadow onto the text. Okay, you can see a little bit of a drop shadow was added. It's hard to see, but it's there. You can see it better if I change the color of it to white. Okay, now let's go ahead and drag up the opacity to 100%. Um, let's take the blur out of it. Okay, and the offset, the offset looks good just where it is. Okay, now this is not a perfect outline. It's just a drop shadow going down a one angle. How do we get it outlining the entire text? Well, watch this. Let's click this call out and control D to duplicate it three times. That's once, twice, three times. Show you all of the tracks here. There we go. So now with this second one, let's go over here under drop shadow and change the angle to the lower left. You see what I'm doing now? Let's select the third one and change the angle to the top right and the fourth one angle to the top left. All right, so there you go. There's somewhat of an outline and it looks okay, but if you zoom in, you can see that it looks kind of funny around the, the edges. It's a hard edge. The way you can kind of fix that is with all of them selected. Let's go ahead and select all of the callouts. And over here under drop shadow, let's start increasing the blur. Okay, actually let's zoom in so you can see the effect. Start increasing the blur 
until that goes away. Okay, now let's fit that to the screen. And there you go. An outline of the text. That is the hard way, but it looks kind of cool and there may be some ways you can use this in your projects. Now let me show you the second, much easier way to add an outline to text. All you do is with the text highlighted, right here, go over to your visual effects again and scroll up until you see border. Click and drag the border onto the text, like that. And now over in the properties, you see where it says thickness here? Start increasing that thickness. Uh, but there's a problem. You can see here what we've done is we've increased the thickness of the, the box, like the, the border around all of the text. Okay, that's not exactly what we want. But there is a super easy fix. All you have to do is click this use alpha box right here. Boom, done. Text is outlined. And now you can adjust the thickness of the text like this with this slider. Okay, you can change the color of the text right here. All right. I actually like uh, white better, so let's just keep it at white. Super simple. The next thing I want to do is add a behavior to this because TikTok style or short form style uh, captions typically are more dynamic than just text that shows up on the screen. This looks great, but let's add some behaviors to it. So go up to behaviors over here in the, uh, in the side menu and you want to scroll down and look for scale. And we'll drag scale down to the text. Again, you can either drag it to the text here or drag it down to the text on the timeline. Release that. Now what I'm going to do is up here in the properties with behaviors, there's an in properties, during properties and out properties. Okay. I only want, I only want to add properties to the in effect. So that's when it's coming on the screen. So for out, I'm going to change the style to none. And for during, it's already set to none. So we'll just leave that as is. Now for the in, what I want is this grow one that's already selected. Okay. I want to change the type to object. So the, all of the text kind of grows at the same time, not one letter at a time. I'm going to change the movement to smooth and I'm going to increase the speed to 98. Okay. Now let's see what that does. Hey guys. That was really hard to see because it happened so fast. But basically, it comes onto the screen really fast. Okay? It just happens in a few... Actually, we can shorten this way down. It just happens in a few, a few frames. Okay? So let's just zoom in here so we can see this a little bit better. All right? So that adds a little bit of motion. Let's add a little bit of rotation as well. And the way we do that is not with behaviors, but we're going to add an animation as well. So go up to animations, drag a custom animation down. Now we obviously don't want it that long. In fact, I want this to rotate. I want it to finish up the rotation at this, you know, horizontal orientation. So let's go to the beginning of the animation and let's change that rotation to, we'll go up to the properties here under text. Uh, actually, no, we have to go to the uh, colored properties and let's modify the Z axis to let's come down here, say minus 30 or so, minus 31. Okay, so that's how we're going to start. And I'm going to have you see what I'm doing here. I'm going to have the text start from nothing and then come on screen as it rotates. I want the rotation to finish the same time that the zoom in finishes. So that's right around here. Okay, so with the playhead there, we'll grab the end of the animation. Actually, we'll just drag that until it is full size right around there. Okay, now let's see what that looks like. It's going to happen awfully fast, but let's watch. Hey guys. Okay, it just jumps on screen. And maybe that's too fast, but I, I like that effect. So that is our effect for the hey text. Guys, this now what you're going to do next is you want to save this so that you can reuse it multiple times to build out your captions. And the way to do that is you want to right click your, uh, well, first of all, you can adjust the length. So right now we have that. How many, how long is that? It's, Hey guys, this is Rob. Okay, it's, it's not even, it's about a second and a half or so. Let's just make it smaller though. So it's easier to package and we want to right click it and then click on add to library down here. And then you want to give it a name and then you can choose the library where it is stored. Okay. 
Now I've created a Rob's library. There's a default and a downloads library also in here, but you can create your own. So actually that's, let's just back out of here and I'll show you how to do that. Go into media up here. Go over here to the third icon on the right. That's your library icon. Okay, and then in here, click this text here under library. Click that. And then you can click on manage library. Or actually what I want to do is down here, create new library. So let's click on that. And let's call this test library. Okay, create. We've created a test library. And you can see it right here. You can select it here. All right. So now let's go back to our annotation. We'll right click it, click add to library. And then it's already selected library. So we, we pick the one we want to save it to. We'll save it to the test library. And let's call this tick tock text, for example. Uh, and we want to use visible size. So we're only saving just the call out and click on add. Okay. So now let's say if you're somewhere else here in the menu, in order to find that, to replicate it, you would simply go to uh, your media bin. And then you've got these three icons. You want to go to library, make sure test library is selected. And there it is right there. You can click it and drag it down into your project just like that. And there it is again. This is Rob. So now just to show you the process of what I go through when I'm building out captions like this, in fact, once I have one copy brought into my project from the library, uh, I only bring that in once. So, okay, so let's just delete this one because we already have one here. And then we're going to go ahead and modify it to the text that we want on screen. So we're going to want to decide what text we want on screen. I'm going to need my headphones for this so I can hear what's going on. Okay, now we're just going to go through this uh, and, and create our caption. So once we have the first one... Um, hey guys, this... So I say, hey guys, right off the bat. So we'll just change this to what we want the text to be. And then I'll find the place where I want the second one to start. Guys, this is... Which is right here. So we'll stretch this one to there. We'll highlight this, Control or Command C to copy it, and Control or Command V to paste. Now we've got our second one. And then I'm not going to bore you with all this. Let me just run through this really quick. There we go. And now let's go ahead and you can change some colors if you want. You would just highlight each one individually and change the color of this one to blue, let's say. Uh, let's, uh, let's change several to blue. You can highlight several and come up here and change the color to blue. Uh, and then short video and check it out. We can go, let's go with a green with this one. Okay. And then Let's see what we've got. Hey guys, this is Rob, and this is a sample YouTube short video. Check it out. If you want more tips like this, let me know in the comments below. Or come join me on Tuesdays in my live stream. I live stream every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos, and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob, and I'll see you in the next video, or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.